Hi, my name's Adam Cole and this is Down to Earth. This is the second episode of our Garden to Table series. Today we're going to be potting up this rosemary, or actually planting this rosemary into the ground with the help of some mycorrhizal fungi inoculants and we're going to use a little bit of this Down to Earth All-Purpose 462. Now last time when we planted this lavender into the pot, we used the BioLive fertilizer. The BioLive has a mycorrhizal inoculant already imbued into it, but today we're going to actually separate it out. Mycorrhizal fungi is a suite of fungus that lives in and around the roots of the plant. Now mycorrhizal fungi can do some amazing things. It reaches out into the plant much more extensively, or it reaches out into the soil much more extensively than the plant roots do and it's really good at absorbing and taking in nutrients that the plant has a hard time getting. Now the plant through photosynthesis will feed the mycorrhizal fungi sugar and then in exchange the mycorrhizal fungi will feed those nutrients that it's so good at getting back up to the plant. Mycorrhizal fungi can permeate the soil incredibly extensively so a tablespoon of soil can have hundreds, even thousands of feet of mycorrhizal hyphae, or little tiny thread-like root structures spread throughout it. And all of those root structures are very good at absorbing that nutrient. So the vast majority of plants utilize a mycorrhizal association, but there are some that don't. That's why sometimes it's better to use separate pieces, fertilizer and mycorrhizal inoculants separately, as opposed to the BioLive where it's all in one. Certain plant groups like uh, ericaceous plants, that's blueberries, azaleas, rhododendrons, lingonberries, huckleberries, they don't form association with the broadly available mycorrhizal inoculants. Also brassica, so your cabbage, kale, um, collard greens, they also don't form a relationship. They're not hindered by it, but sometimes it's better to just avoid using it. To use a soluble powder, you take a little bit of the powder, it's a half teaspoon per gallon of water, we're using about a half gallon of water today, but first you mix it in with a little bit of warm water, that helps it dissolve more readily, and then stir it with a whisk or a fork. If you put it into a closed container like a water bottle, you can agitate it by shaking it. And once you've got it mostly into solution, you don't have a lot of powdery bits floating along the top. You pour that into the bulk cooler water and then just give it a little more stirring. Once the material is fully dissolved in there, then you're ready to use it. You can use it in multiple ways. You can take your root ball of your plant, remove it from the pot and dip it right into there. That's actually my favorite way. You get perfect surface area coverage. You can also water it into the planting hole as you would any sort of pre-planting watering that you do. Another option is take it, add it to a spray bottle, then you can take your plant, hold it from above, and just spray your entire root surface with it. Another great surface area coverage method. And then if you have a plant that's actually already established, you can poke holes in and around the root area and then water into it. But it's always best to apply it as early as possible in the game. You get the early advantage of the mycorrhizal fungus and it can then spread out from there. If you like this video, please make sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel.